Hello my friends, welcome back to Lighting Fun. This is the fourth part of our FPD Theater Lighting Tutorials. And this is today we're going to have fun with color. Now, I'm going to try to do this one in the dark so, the, so you can really see the lights in the screen. The good thing with when we work with color, we use the buttons on the board relatively little. So we're going to kind of try to go with the screen and the stage today. Just assume that you see me using the mouse to select all these things. All right, so we're going to start here in the tombstone view. And we're going to choose to start off with um, one of our LED instruments. So in looking at this, the, all those top ones are the lights that are over the stage. That's what the first ones are. Then you see we start getting stuff sorted out a little differently. This says color band try three channel. Those are the strip lights that we use to light, oh, stuff like the psych in the back. Uh, we've lit under, under um, platforms with them before. Beauty and the Beast comes to mind. Uh, so that's what those are. We don't have any of those hooked up at the moment. We've just recently taken those out. So we're going to scroll up. I'm using the scroll wheel on the mouse. All right, and the next thing to come up here is marked Colorado One Quad, quad Tours. Those are the um, LED, uh, it's what we call a park hand, basically. It's, it's an instrument made for flooding a large area with soft undefined light. So it's basically used for making something turn a color or just filling a very generalized area with lighting, not for lighting a very specific thing. Um, so we're going to choose one of these. Now you can see on this, on the tombstone screen, you get a list of what each one of these, where their settings are currently. These are all the different things that all the different um, variables that this light can contain. Beginning, you see their percentages of red, green, and blue. Now, there's nothing on on stage right now, all right, nice and dark. So that 100% red, red, green, blue, we don't see that because that first column is your intensity. Nothing has been turned on, all right? So if I, if I went over and selected, let's say, let's select 101 over here, okay? And I use the wheel on the board to bring it up to full, all right, there we see. Now, it, right now it has 100% red, 100% green, and 100% white. Now, let me talk for a moment about how LED instruments are set up. Almost all of them are set up with, a, with red, green, and blue LEDs. Those are the primary colors of light. Now, you may be used to red, um, to red, blue, and yellow being the primary colors. Those are the primary colors of pigment. Like with paint, the rules for, 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 for that color mixing is what you use. Light's a little different. Red's primary colors are red, green, and blue. You can make any color using those. Now, while you can make every color using those theoretically, um, some of them we can't make well with theater lighting because we simply can't get them bright enough on stage. And we'll talk a little bit about that. These particular lighting instruments have an added set of LEDs. They also have white LEDs as well, which gives us a little bit more flexibility in what we can do with them. So we could select each one of those red, green, blue, whites and change that number individually if we wanted to mix this numerically. But what we can do is we can go down and we can pull up a different view from the tombstone. So here, let me pull back so you can see this in perspective on the whole screen, all right? So you see there is the whole screen. Down in that bar, right over where our typing appears, down there, you see that? You see there's a series of tabs. A couple live table, live channel, color picker, ML controls, submasters, all sorts of fun stuff. What we want is ML controls. ML stands for moving light. And uh, even though we're not using this right now with a moving light, the moving light controls give you very detailed options for affecting our um, smarter lighting instruments. So I'm going to click on it, and now the view is going to change up top. Let me get this the focus in. All right. And here we have a whole new series of controls. These are all the different variables that we can affect for this light. I think it actually scrolls over some. So right now we're worrying about color. So you can see it shows us that the intensity is at 100 and we have all of these options 
to change with the color. Now here we can just move the red, green, and blue and make the change. I'm actually going to see if I can't come up just a little bit so you can see the stage over these. All right. Okay. So right now I'm going to set them all down to their minimum by clicking minimum under each one of them. All right. So now it goes off. So even though the intensity is at hold, this is all off because we have each different color of LED turned off. Now, if I want to just have red, I can take my red, I just press max, or this is actually like a little roller. If you, if you press and hold close to the center, it moves relatively quick, um, relatively slowly. If you move it to the side, it moves faster. So there's the red all the way up, and I can bring that down. Or I can just hit max to bring it all the way up. So we can mix lighting this way. All right, I've clicked on the max there. Get a little closer, so I really want you to see both the color changing and the board, all right? On the screen, I mean. And so we'll add some green to that, all right? And that actually makes a yellow, believe it or not. Equal parts of red and green make yellow. We can add blue to that, and that actually makes a white light. Now, the it won't look perfectly white, because to be perfectly white, the red, green, and blue LEDs would all have to be precisely focused on the exact same spot. So any place they don't quite hit exactly, some of, the, some of their base color is going to show. That's why a lot of companies, when they can, add in a white light. So we can just mend those out, bring up the maximum here, and then we have a very pure white light. A little bit cold, though, with, with LEDs. All right, so that's just the white on. Now, that could be a bit of a pain. Now, I want this to be more obvious with the colors that we're seeing change. I don't think that's obvious enough for us to see. So before I do anything else, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to select a bunch of them. Okay? I'm going to select those, and I'm going to select a bunch of the ones over the stage, too. All right. Now, I could have gone to the board and typed in 101 through 115. All right, that would have worked, too. All right, now I'm going to go back to the moving light controls. Now I'm controlling all of them. This is going to be fun. So just zooming in here a little bit, you will see that there's a bunch of little dots that have appeared on this color chart. That's because different lighting instruments are currently set at different colors. That's just showing me where they all are. And it won't really show that to me here because I can't, it can't graphically represent different lights on these roller things. So, but now, if I go to the, over here to intensity and put it on max, we're going to be kind of blinded because a bunch of lights just came on on stage. Okay. Now, we're going to set, we're going to set all of these back to minimum values. All right, so those are all cleared out. Now, a couple ways we can do this. Now, if I select, let's say, green and select that, all of those lighting instruments, all 15 lighting instruments that I chose come on poof, we have a green. We have eight of them um, off the catwalk f um, facing the stage, and we have seven of them hanging over the stage going straight down, nice and green, okay? We could mix that. I could add a little blue into it until I get a nice pretty cyan color on stage, all right? Just like that. Now, in the old days of light mixing, by old days I mean like 20 years ago, and uh, eh, maybe not quite that far back either, we had to do this by knowing a numerical percentage. 50% you know, blue and 100% green equals this. 100% red, 100% green is yellow. 100% red, 50% green is orange. So you kind of had to learn those. Now you can just experiment or also you can choose a color in much the same way as you choose a color when you're working on your tablet. And that is you have a nice color picker right here. And, those, and you can click anywhere within that little funky shape. It looks kind of like a spaceship or something. You can click anywhere in that little funky shape, and it will choose that color. So let's see. Let's get to where we can see both. All right. Here I go. I'm just going to click right into it. Okay. And I'm going up into the uh, sort of the pinkish range right here. You can also you can click and hold, and then you can just drag that thing around. You can just make the colors change all over the place. Hey, you can just drag and find whichever one you want. But notice, I can't go past the little edge of that drawing. 
Here's why. That little black spaceship looking outline is, shows the limits of these lighting instruments. So these lighting instruments can't create the shades of, of, of color outside of that chart. Now with a slightly different shade of blue or a slightly different shade of red LED in there, you might be able to create something, something different. But you still probably have somewhere in the neighborhood of, oh, probably a little over a million color choices just within, just within there. And uh, that's, that's pretty useful for going on. You will notice what you don't see in that color wheel are the dark colors. And here's why. Our perception as human beings of lighting is whether or not is the darker colors are, are come from an absence of light. There is no such thing as a light that can shine black. All right, black light is ultraviolet, which we've heard all black light. So we can't shine darkness somewhere. All that we can do to create black is to make the absence of light. So if I turn off all of these, poof, we've made black. But that leads to the question, how do you make brown? All right, so brown has a pigment similar in ways to an orange, but, you know, we start bringing up our intensity by the time we can see it, and you, actually the camera is not picking this up, I can see it on stage. That's actually kind of brown, but by the time we get it bright enough to really be seen, you're probably just seeing it now, now it's getting kind of orangey. So it's really hard to get dark colors on stage. It's even hard to do it with gel, the plastic that we put in front of lights, because they block so much of the light, not much of the color even comes out on stage. So you will rarely see that type of color, color used. Now, so this is just the controls we see for one lighting instrument. Those are the basically LED park hands. If I go up to the table, I'm a double click a few times just to clear. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna choose one of the moving lights. Now we're gonna do, there's gonna be a whole instructional video on the moving lights um, here in a moment. So I've chosen one of those. I'm gonna go back to the ML controls, the moving light controls. Now notice this has changed up top because there's a lot more toys we can use. I'm gonna take us over to the color chart. In fact, I'm gonna scroll the color chart over here and see how it shows us choosing color there you will notice we don't have an outline because this does not have red, green, and blue LEDs in it. It only has gel. It has pieces of plastic that move in front of the lighting instrument. So for these to make color, those are the colors that are there are the only colors we can make. Now it does have two layers of it. So we can select a color in the front layer or a, and, a, and or a color in the back layer, but you can't really do much mixing with it. So with this one, if you click somewhere, and max that up, if you, but I can't even see it out there. Oh, that was the position speed, haha, <laughs> my bad. Let me scroll over here and bring that up. All right, so it's kind of up top right now. Let me see if you can see this over here. Okay, it's kind of up top in the middle. I didn't turn the other ones off, but you'll see this in a minute. So if I choose, I'm just clicking kind of randomly in the green and yellow quadrant, and it's, and it's gonna pick the closest that it can find to it, which is yellow. So I'm gonna click over here, kind of in the purplish section, and it's gonna choose a dark blue, because that's all it has in there. All right, so you're kind of limited. So if you select these lights, now you can set color for these lights the same time you set them for the park hands before. The problem is they're gonna actually go on different colors. If you select like this perfect orange, the LEDs can mix it. This will choose whatever orange gel it has that's closest to it. So each, when you're setting color, you almost have to think about each type of instrument separately to make sure you get the color you want. All right, so that is controlling color using the ML controls panel.